Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another album tier list video for power metal or just metal in general, I suppose. Eventually, at some point, we'll get to that. But today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite bands, Symphony X. Now, they don't have as many albums as the other a lot of other tier lists we've been making, but I think it, I think it's time to make this. So, first of all, if it's in the S tier, then it should you should listen to the entire album. If it's in A tier. It's, you still should listen to the whole album, but there might be like one song that you can probably skip, you know You know, there's always there's always sometimes there's always a song that you just eh. And if it's any lower than that, then there's some songs that are good And then there's some songs you just don't care about or it's just not as good as the other ones So I mean not everything can be in the S tier. I wish I could do that, but it gotta be it's gotta be a tier list for a reason so I think the most obvious one here is the first one. We're gonna put that in the D tier um, And the reason for that is, is it's okay it's okay if you like metal but you don't know where to start maybe this is a good place to start i wouldn't recommend this i wouldn't recommend this album but if you want to start from the very beginning and see what they see how they got their sound this is still basically almost the Symph symphony x sound in essence uh at least their older sound you know the, not the newer one but but it's an it's a different singer if you want a comparison it's like timo tolki Sing for Stradivarius back then, and then they switched over to Cult of Pelto. It's like that. It's like that big of a difference when they got when Symphony X got their new singer. That's a huge difference. So that's the reason why that's in D tier. All right, let's look at their newest album. Newest, I put in quotation marks. They're actually gonna be making. Apparently, they're gonna be making another one. So I probably should have waited. But maybe I'll make like a thing in the comment section down below. What I rate the newest album that they'll make. Um, but this is technically the newest album right here. This one. And we're gonna put this in the S and the A tier. This might be blasphemy to a lot of people that like this band, uh, that they don't like their old, their new sound. But I feel like they did this, they did this album right, because um, it's like three fourths new sound, but it's but then they have like a one fourth of the old sound that they kind of incorporate. It's like a perfect mix um, of how you were able to do that. So this is a very good album. Um, there are some there's a there's a slow song in there that got the single I wouldn't have I wouldn't have picked that as the single but they did um, There's actually are quite a few good songs in there nothing nothing too like Super 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 memorable like the other albums we'll be talking about, but it's still good and When we talk about new sound This one I think is just a miss for me And put this in the C tier. It's decent iron class I think it's okay, but it's just, it's not really doing it for me. I feel like it's just, they, the sound is just too different compared to, compared to the newest album they made right there. Um, I feel like the Iron Class is just not good enough, in my opinion, compar in comparison. And now Odyssey is definitely going the S tier. That's like, that's like an easy, that's not even a hot take. That's super easy to do. The whole album front to back, start to finish, is a must listen to. Definitely top tier. And the D game is going to go in the H A tier. Very, very good album. And the only reason why this is not going in S tier is just because, like, not everything can go in S tier. It's a really good album, though. It's one of my favorites, actually. But I have to be fair. It's going in the A tier. Uh, the next one, V. I believe this is what this one is called. Or 5. Uh, we'll be going in the S tier. Um, on one caveat, I mean, you could, I, if there was one position between A and S, I'd probably go there. And the only reason why it's getting a small demeric, it's like hanging, it's like holding onto the S tier uh, bracket basically because one, I'm only giving it a small demeric because basically it doesn't, it didn't age well in terms of people who want to just listen to things on shuffle. And this is one of those story albums where you want to listen to the very beginning to the very end in order. And you know how shuffle goes, it just shuffles everything around and there's some songs in there that just have, it's like an interlude type of thing. So yeah, it's kind of bad if you if you're doing string shuffling, so it didn't age well in that aspect. But it's it's still very good. That's the reason why it's in that spot. Next, uh, this one uh, we're gonna be in the, in the S tier as well. This is definitely a top tier album. Um, it's just super good, and I'm trying to be as fair as possible. This is one of my favorite bands. So I'm trying to be as fair as possible, but I'm just being completely honest. The top the, those three albums there are must listen tos. Like absolute must listen to's. 
Seriously, I can't. I can recommend any song in that and and all the albums, and, and including this one. This one in this in this album, there's a fan favorite called "Smoke and Mirrors." So if you want an introduction into this band in, in its entirety, go watch on YouTube right now. "Smoke and Mirrors" It's probably one of their best songs that they ever, that they have. Um, this, um, "The Wings of Tragedy," is definitely going in S tier. Probably one of the best me power metal albums of all time. If I were to put it, if I were to make like a top ten tier list. For power metal albums, that'll be in the top ten. I'm not gonna say which which position it would be in because that's not fair right now. We're not making that kind of a list, but it would definitely be in there. It's it's it has one of one of their longest tracks. So if you like really long songs while it's while working while you're at work and you don't want to keep you know switching through songs and stuff because it's like a 20 minute song, and it's it's a very elaborate. It doesn't hang. It's not slow. It's just the right mix it's like if if you were making a power metal museum or just a metal museum that song would be in there all right and now we have on to the last one it's not a very long list is it because they don't have a lot of albums i mean they, i guess they kind of do uh this one here is definitely going to a tier it's very good but it's not as good as the ones at the top there um like i said not everything can go in s tier because if i were to get my way and i didn't put it by a, a non-biased opinion and I just picked all my favorites. Almost all of them would be in the S tier, just because they're all so good. <laughs> the, almost all these albums are good. So everything in the S and A tier, go watch, go listen to right now, in my opinion. So here's all their albums. Under Under Underworld was the one in the the black album that I showed you. Iconoclast or Iconoclast. Uh, Paradise Lost was in the A tier. Odyssey is in S tier. Um. Five, the new mythological suite doesn't say that in the album; it just says uh, V or five. But that is definitely in the S tier. Twilight in Olympus is S tier. The Divine Wings of Tragedy is S tier for sure. Damnation is um, A tier, and Symphony X is in the lower tier. Like I believe it was out like D, was in D, I think. Um, and the only reason is because it's just okay. It's okay for like one or two listen to listen throughs, I guess, if you really want to go back and listen to see how they started out. But other than that, those other albums that I listed there, um, this and all of these are must listen tos. Um, so go ahead and go ahead and listen to those. All oh, they're all on YouTube. So if you want to go ahead and go watch and go we'll listen to some of those on YouTube. If you don't know any of these, if you don't know this al if you don't know this band at all, well, I hopefully I. I introduce you into a new your maybe your f new favorite band i don't know um this is definitely my top top three favorite bands of all time so with that being said guys i think that's gonna be it sorry for the um gap and tier lists that i've made making for the for these bands um just don't have a lot of energy lately so with that being said let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite songs for them, this band are if you knew about them if you do not know about them, but you like you like metal, you might like this band. So check them out. Peace.